so you want to record microphones and instruments using your new Scala. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect both microphones and instruments to the Scala, set the recording level, and set up your monitoring so that you can hear your performance with no delay. Then, in the next video, I'll show you how to record in your chosen software. Feel free to pause this video when you need to follow the steps that are being shown on screen. You can connect a microphone to the front of the Scarlett using an XLR cable like so. The two main types of microphone that you're likely to be using are dynamic and condenser microphones. Dynamic microphones, like the Shure SM57 for example, don't require any extra power in order to function once you've plugged them into the Scarlett. You simply need to turn up the gain and you're good to go. However, condenser microphones, like the CM25, which comes with the Scarlett Studio Packs, do require power in order to function. This comes in the form of phantom power, which you can switch on by pressing the 48V button on the front of your Scarlett. Think of plugging in a condenser microphone in the same way as plugging an electrical appliance into a wall socket. Simply plugging it in won't work. You need to turn on the power before the condenser microphone will work. For the safety of your equipment, please ensure that the 48V phantom power button is turned off before you connect or disconnect any microphones. Connecting or disconnecting a microphone with phantom power turned on could damage the microphone, the Scarlett, and your headphones and speakers connected to the Scarlett. If you're unsure as to whether your microphone requires phantom power, please refer to the microphone manufacturer's documentation. The air mode is a unique analog effect which you can switch on for your inputs by pressing the air button. Air mode emulates the sound of the classic Focusrite ISA preamp range, and it adds a mid to high frequency boost, which sounds fantastic on vocals and a host of other instruments. The inst setting that you see just here is only relevant to the jack inputs, so if you're plugging in a microphone with an XLR cable, this button has no effect. We'll explain what this button does in the instruments section of this video. In order to hear your microphone in the headphones with no delay, we need to turn on direct monitoring, which you can do by pressing this button once so that the single green circle lights up. Now, play through your performance to test the recording volume. Turn up the gain dials until the light around the gain knob flashes green. This indicates a good level of signal. If the light flashes yellow or red, this means that the gain is too high and you need to turn the gain dial down. You can listen back to this performance using headphones connected to the Scarlett, controlling the volume with this dial. You're also able to connect a range of instruments to the Scarlett, such as guitars, basses, synthesizers, and digital pianos. In this example, we'll be using a guitar with a jack output. In order to connect a guitar to your Scarlett, you'll need a standard instrument cable. Connect one end to your guitar and plug the other end into the middle of the combi input on the front of the Scarlett like so. The jack input on the Scarlett that you've just plugged your guitar into has two different modes, instrument mode and line mode. It's important to select the right option for the equipment that you've plugged in. Otherwise, the recording quality will suffer and you may damage your equipment. Instrument mode is only used to connect quieter sound sources, such as an electroacoustic guitar, an electric guitar, or a bass guitar, which are not passing through an amp. Line mode is for connecting almost everything else, such as the line out of a guitar amp, a synthesizer, or a digital piano. The inst setting is only relevant to the jack inputs, so if you're plugging in a microphone with an XLR cable, this button has no effect. Because we have a guitar connected directly, not using an amp, we want the input to be in instrument mode, so we want the inst light to be on. You can do this by pressing the inst switch just here until you see that inst is lit up like so. If you're connecting a synthesizer, like the Novation Bass Station, for example, you need to set the jack input to line mode. 
You can do this by pressing the inst switch here so that the inst light is off. Now play through your performance to test the recording volume. Turn up the gain dials until the light around the gain knob flashes green. This indicates a good level of signal. If the light flashes yellow or red, this means that the gain is too high and you need to turn the gain dial down. You can listen back to this performance using headphones connected to the Scarlett, controlling the volume with this dial. Direct monitoring sends whatever is coming into the Scarlett's inputs straight to the headphone and monitor outputs with no delay. The Scarlett 2i2 now has stereo direct monitoring, which can be accessed by pressing the direct monitor button again so that the two circles light up. We won't be using stereo direct monitoring in this tutorial because it sends input one to the left headphone and input two to the right headphone. This is great if you're using two microphones to record the same thing, like a piano or an orchestra, but in this instance, we'd be hearing the microphone in the left headphone and the guitar in the right headphone, which is not what we want. Press the direct monitoring button again to turn off direct monitoring. And we've now cycled through the three states that direct monitoring can be in, which are off, mono, and stereo. Your inputs are now connected and you should be able to hear your microphones and or instruments in your headphones without any delay. I'd recommend double checking this before moving on to the next tutorial. In the next video, we're gonna show you how to record in your selected software.